Number 33. A spectator at a parade receives an 888 hertz tone from an oncoming trumpeter who is playing an 880 hertz note. At what speed is the musician approaching if the speed of sound is 338 meters per second? All right, so this is a Doppler effect problem. Check out number 30. I went through a decent amount of detail about how to think through the formulas. All right, so I'm going to do a little shorthand here. Um, we, have two of the, we have two formulas that deal with do Doppler effect. Right, we have SMO, SSMO, and we have SOMS, S O M S. SMO, SSMO stands for Stationary Source Moving Observer, and the SOMS deals with Stationary Observer Moving Source. All right, now the way to remember which one goes with which is to realize that the SOMS formula has the signs and the bomb bombs, all right, meaning on the bottom. So, I so based upon this problem, right, it sounds like there's a spectator at a parade. And he or she is the one receiving the sound, right? So we have a stationary observer and we have a moving source, right? The trumpeter is the one that is producing the tone or the note. So we have a moving source and a stationary observer. So that means we're going to be using the SOMS formula where the signs are on the bum bums. All right, so let's write that out. So we have the Frequency that the observer is experiencing is equal to the frequency that the source is producing multiplied by the velocity of the sound divided by the velocity of the sound plus or minus the velocity of that source because the source is the one that's moving. So if the source is moving toward an object, that's the minus one. We went through in detail in number 30 about how to think through it, all right? And it's moving away, then it's going to be the positive one. So this one, it sounds, they told us it's an oncoming trumpeter, right? So we're going to be using the negative sign, all right? Okay, now all we got to do is basically just plug in, right? The frequency that the observer is, observer is, is experiencing is going to be, I can't speak, is going to be 888 hertz. Oh my goodness, slow down, slow down. 888 hertz. The frequency the source is producing is, is 880 hertz. Oh, this is a lot better. Equals then the velocity of the sound. So they said the velocity of the sound is 338 divided by then 338 minus what? Minus the velocity of the source. And it says what speed is the musician approaching? The musician is the source. So we just got to solve this for V sub S. Okay. So this is just a little math now, right? This, this is not bad at all. So why don't we multiply the 880 uh, by the 338? So we're going to get 888 is equal to then 880 times the 338. And again, you know, when I do the calculations, I'm going to use all the exact values, okay? I might round as I write it down, but so this is going to be 297400 all divided by 338 minus V sub S. And now I'm going to cross multiply basically, all right? So actually what I'll do is I'm going to use this. I'm going to bring this over here and bring this down there, right? That's how we think about cross multiplication. Remember that little trick. And now all we have, so we have this little division. And then just thinking through the math here, I can add this term V sub S on over to this side. And if I do that, then I have to subtract this value on over to the left, right? So essentially now, uh, so let me just, so it's basically going to be the velocity of the source is going to be equal to 338, right? 338 minus 338 minus this division, okay? Minus then 338 minus that value, 297,000 about, divided by 888. And what do we get? We get about 3.04, uh, 3.05, I guess, considering rounding, right? So we get 3.05 <clears throat> meters per second, okay? Meters per second. And there you go. That's the velocity of the source, which is the musician. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right, please remember to check out number 30. And also, please remember to subscribe. Help us out tremendously. Take care.